Ascend TMS, the world's number one rated TMS software. Missed our live training or just don't have time to watch them during the day? Don't worry, we have the full training by one of our product specialists recorded for you to watch anytime you need it. Grab the popcorn, sit back, and enjoy the full accounting training. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to try not to take up too much of your time. I know everybody is super busy. Before I get started though, I want to tell you that the accounting training is our goal here is just to show you how all of the features work and then from there you decide what features you want to use and which ones you don't. There's a lot of things that people do or do not in the accounting features. So these, like I said, our goal is to just show you how all the functions work and then you can choose what is going to work best for you. Okay. We're going to get started in load management. And the reason I'm starting in load management is because once a load is done and empty and you're ready to send it to accounting, there are several different ways you can send it to accounting. One, if you right click, you get your shortcuts menu, you can send it to accounting management from here. If I go into the load itself from my load management screen, I can send the load to accounting from here. In financials, I can send it from here. And if I go to my load documents, I can send it from here, okay? So before I send it to accounting, most um, customers are going to require some type of documents, a POD, a BOL, any sort of receipts that you're trying to get reimbursed on. If you want that document to be combined with your invoice and sent along um, without having to send them separately, you have to upload the document and process it. So processing a document is super easy. Now you can do it from the load management screen before you send it to accounting, or you can do it in accounting management. I'm gonna show you how to do it in both spots, okay? So uploading a document and processing, again, super easy. So we're gonna click on upload a new document. I'm just gonna select a random one, okay? Now, in here, right now, it's already attached to my load number. Okay, because I'm in the load itself. The second thing you need is you need to attach it to the customer. That little symbol right there tells me it's the customer. Okay, you need to have a document name and you need to have a document type. Once you have those four things and you upload this document, so we're gonna click on upload, we're at 100%, close this, here's my document, and you can see that it's processed. Because it's attached to the customer and the way we processed it, when I send this load to accounting, that document's going to follow us, okay? Now let's say, for example, you used our um, request documents from a driver feature and they sent a document over through their text messaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select a document real quick. And I'm gonna upload it real quick without processing it, okay? If you do that, and for whatever reason, maybe you didn't process it fully or you just uploaded it and then moved on, you'll see here that it says unprocessed. That's fine. All you have to do is highlight that document, hit preview and process, and then you can go ahead and finish processing that document from here. So my customer is Cisco. We're gonna find the customer. Again, there's that little symbol that shows me it's the customer. We've got the document name and let's just go ahead and pick it as a POD. And we're gonna hit save. Okay. So now that we've done that, I'm going to now send this load over to um, accounting. So, write something down real quick so I don't forget. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and send it over. And yes, we wanna send this to accounting. So, now if I go to accounting management into my invoices and bills, here's the load that we just did. Now, like I said, you can either process those documents when it's in load management before you send it to accounting or you can do it here. So I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But before I do, a few things I like to point out on this page are, anytime you see an up and down arrow and ascend, that is a sort feature. This little symbol here is a filter. Um, you also have a filter up here if you wanna narrow down your search by company name, invoice number, tick drop address or load status, you can do that as well. We've got these three little buttons here where you can hide your QuickBooks columns, collapse, or expand all rows or collapse all rows, okay? And then we've got that little button here, which is our expander button. So in here, you can view the invoice as a PDF. You can view the payment history, which is something we'll circle back to. And if for whatever reason you sent this load to accounting and you didn't mean to, you can always send it back to load management. You get a quick little snapshot of the load itself. 
and then you've got review and manage supporting documents. So you can see right here, here's that BOL that we process. See, we've got that one little green check mark and it's one document found. Here's our POD. If for whatever reason we get here and there's no documents and you still need to process them, if you click on review and manage supporting documents, it's gonna take you right back into this screen and then you can upload and process those documents from here. Okay, so either way, it's up to you however you wanna do it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to here. Now our goal today is we're gonna go over invoices, bills, reconcile and archive and search archive list. If anybody on this call is um, asset-based and you need any help with driver pay management, please reach out to us directly. We can set up a one-on-one. -on -one. We can also send you videos on step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to set that up um, and the entire process, okay? so. First tab is our invoices. Now that's who owes you money, that's your customer. All right, there's two ways in here that you can be, send out your invoices. One of them, you can factor your invoices. We have a handful of factoring companies that you can link with. Um, for example, we've got Triumph, we've got Phoenix, Loves, TAB, and a whole bunch more. If you're factoring with any of our integrations and you're connected, you would select your invoice, you would hit factor invoice, follow a couple steps, and then all of your documents, your invoice, all of that will go straight into the portal and then you'll be funded as normal. Or you, if you are just emailing or direct invoicing your customers, you're going to email it. So in here, I've gotten my um, invoice selected. Now to email an invoice, it's five steps. It takes me longer to explain it than it does to actually do it. So if I hit email invoice, here's our first step. You've got your invoice details. Here's your invoice number. Invoice date, it automatically is going to default to the day that you are sending the invoice, but if you need to change it, you can. You've got your invoice total, your terms that gets pulled over from the customer's profile. If you need to change that, you can do that here as well. And then you can preview the invoice if needed. Next is your supporting documents. So you can see here, here's our bill of lading. Here's that POD that we processed. If for whatever reason, there is a document listed here that you do not want to send to your customer, you're gonna hit that little paper airplane and it's gonna change it from include to exclude, okay? You can also combine all of your supporting documents. So you can email your customers in bulk. So maybe you did five loads with this customer this week and you wanna send all five of them at once. You can, they'll be all listed one by one here. Combining them just makes it look nice and neat when your customer gets the email. They'll get an attachment for each load and it will be your invoice and all your supporting documents with just one attachment. So if you had five loads, they'll get five attachments. It just keeps it nice and neat. Next, we've got recipients. So anybody that is in your customer contact list um, would show up here and you can select whoever you want to to send an email to. It does also automatically um, default to be sent to yourself. You don't have to send it to yourself, it's up to you. Um, a lot of our users like to send it and keep the email, it's, it's completely up to you. If for whatever reason you see, um, you've got your list here but you don't see an email address that you do need to send it to, all you have to do is click on add another recipient and you can add them in manually. Next, we've got our body. Um, what you have is a template. If you'd like to change that template, you just hit edit and then you can type in whatever you'd like. We do suggest that you don't remove this document list bracket and that is because it will list all of the documents that your customer is receiving. Okay. And then next, we email. That's it. Completely done, sent out, we're good to go. Um, so let's just say we've sent out our invoice and now our customer has sent us a check and we wanna go ahead and receive the payment. This is one of those things that, like I said, not everybody uses every feature in accounting and that's one of them. A lot of our users have like an outside accounting software and that is where they keep track of their payables and receivables. Completely up to you. If you wanna market pay, great. If you don't, you don't have to. I'm just gonna show you how it works. So in here, I wanna go ahead and let's say I've got my check, I wanna receive a payment. So if I click that, you have your payment date, again, automatically defaults to the day you're recording it, but you can change it. Payment method, you have several options to choose from. Reference number, if you have one, maybe it's a check number, maybe it's, you know, whatever. Um, put something in there, even if it's just the load number. Apply payment to balance. We were owed 3,000. Maybe they only paid us half this time. Okay, you can do partial payments if you need to. And you can put in notes. 
All right. So let's go ahead and just save this so you guys can see what it looks like. So you've got our balance here, all of our information. If I hover over that, you get a payment breakdown that shows that we already recorded a payment for 15. If I click on that, you get a much broader view. Like here's our reference number, our payment method. We put half a payment in, all of that's in here. You also get that same view when you click on view payment history from here. So I just wanted to show you can get that from either either way. Um, and you can record another invoice payment from here or you can go back out to the other place that we did it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and record it another one. We're just gonna go ahead and balance this out. Put the 1500 save payment and it's all done. We have a zero balance, everything's paid, okay? So again, customers, that's who owes you money, all right? Bills is who you owe money to, usually your carrier or your driver. So here's our load, 10 service companies, that's our carrier. So normally, a carrier is gonna send you their invoice, which in turn is a bill to you. You owe them money, so it's billed. Um, and then once you receive that, you're gonna record that you've received it. So we're gonna hit that plus button, and we're gonna record a received bill from our carrier. If I hit that, you're gonna see, okay, we owe them $2,000. Um, if they have a reference number, great, put it in there. If not, put something. Payment terms get pulled over by the carrier's profile. Payment method, you have standard pay, quick pay, or pay when paid. So we'll put standard pay, and then if you have any notes, you can put those in there. So we're gonna save it. And right there, that triggers our due date due to our payment terms, all of that. So let's say we've gone ahead, now it's time we need to pay them and we've cut them a check and we've mailed it out. So we wanna record a bill payment. And again, that's one of those things that not everybody does, but I wanna show you how it works. So we're gonna record a bill payment, payment date, defaults, change it if you need to. It looks just like receiving an invoice payment. And we're just gonna go ahead and do the full payment at 2000. And now we're at a zero balance, everything's been paid. So we've been paid, the carrier's been paid, and I really have no reason to keep this in my live view any longer. Um, and so I need to, we suggest that everybody archive their load. Go ahead and file it away, it's gonna live in the cloud. And that way it's not like you don't have pages and pages and pages of live views, loads that you don't even need to look at, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on reconcile and archive. So in here, it does automatically default to paid and settled loads. So if you march your invoice paid and your bill paid, there's the default. But like I said earlier, not everybody marks their loads paid in here because they're using an outside accounting software. If that's the case, just go to all loads. That's gonna bring up all the loads that you have in accounting. Now, you can archive in bulk. You can pick a whole page if you want to. You can pick several at a time, doesn't matter or you can just do the one at a time. All right, so I've got this selected and I'm now gonna hit archive load. Yes, I want to. And now that load is archived. That means it's filed the way it's in the cloud. You will not find it in your load management screen in your view loads, and you will no longer find it in your invoices and bills. But if you ever did need to go back and view that load or even pull it back to accounting and even from there back to load management, you can. So all you have to do is go to search archive loads. This pulls up the most recent 100 loads that you've archived. If you need to go back older, all you have to do is search by customer or um, by load number. And that'll pull it up. And if you select it, you can see right there, it'll let you unarchive it and pull it back, okay? So that is the basics of invoices and bills and accounting, okay? A few other things under the accounting tab that I like to point out is we do have an ARAP report. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is an aging report similar to something that you would find in QuickBooks. Um, you can narrow it down by customer. You can export these into Excel spreadsheets. Um, and what triggers this is if you hit the sent date for your invoice and you recorded a bill, that's what triggers now how many days and your aging goes, okay? Um, we have commissions management in accounting. So if you are paying any of your users commission, this is where you're gonna go in. You're gonna view their commissions. Oh, well, that doesn't look right. Hold on a second. 
Let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> um, so in here, you would, as an administrator, you can come in here and what you can do is you can look at all of your users, whether you're paying them weekly or monthly or however, um, you would come in here, find your users, and then you can select their um, commissions and then mark them approved or paid or markets do not paid. I know a lot of people have where management will go in and approve whatever commissions they deem are correct. And then it goes to accounting and then accounting goes, okay, these are all marked approved. I can now mark them as paid and then cut them a check. Completely up to you. Um, in here again, you've got those sort features. You can narrow it down by roles, users, statuses, or invoice statuses. These headers, you can move those around by customizing your columns. That is a drag and reorder feature. Anywhere you see that in Ascend, um, you can hide columns if you wanted to. Okay, so that's customizable. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick a few. Um, let me just narrow this down to, we'll just do house account. So I'm gonna mark a few of these as paid so you can see what it looks like. Um, you can see what one of these um, settlement looks like. All right, I'm gonna export a paid commissions report to a PDF. And you can see here, it breaks it down by load, uh, whatever role they have, what they're getting paid on each load, um, percentage or flat rate. And then you've got a total. It almost works like a paycheck stub. You go ahead and have that, and then you can send it out to your user that you're paying with along with a check and you're all set. Okay. I have mentioned QuickBooks several times. Um, we are integrated with QuickBooks desktop and online. If you have QuickBooks Desktop, we request a chart of accounts for accounts to get you started. Once that is mapped, um, you'll have the ability to export your invoices and your bills. QuickBooks Online, um, both systems are cloud-based, so you are able to map the accounts yourself. But of course, if you need any help, just let us know. We'll be more than happy to help. And once that is connected and mapped out, you can export your invoices, your invoice payment, and your bills. Okay. Um, and before I open it up for questions, I always like to point out our Learn tab. This is our knowledge base. We have videos and articles on just about every aspect of Ascend. So if you have any questions, please come in here and check out. We probably have a video or an article on it. If for whatever reason you come in here and you don't find what you're looking for, hit contact support. We try to answer our tickets as quickly as possible. We don't like to keep people waiting or give us a call. Our number is 813-681-5000. Option two will get you to support, okay? Ascend TMS, the logistics software for everyone. Make sure you're staying up to date with the latest marketing and how-to videos by clicking that subscribe button. That way you're the first to know.